He likes the sisters. No, yeah, my, my girl. You like the sisters? Oh, yeah. I, the, right before I moved out here, I was with uh, a one for a year and a half. And I was going to move there. He, was, he's, he said he was with one. Yeah. Well, one. I don't know. I can't say sister. <laughs> you can't say fucking sister. It sounds weird coming from It's me. better than saying color, girl. Yeah. Well. She was black. Yeah. You, say that shit. you like black women? It's I'm I'm Jewish. I, I, I and right now I'm dating a Mexican girl. I just anything that's different from my mom, basically. As far away as Fuck you can get. Fuck your mom fucked you up. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I love her. It's just He just don't want Jewish women. He don't mingle well with Jewish women. That's know? what my daughter said. My daughter is gay. Yeah. She said any bitch is different than you. So she went out and got one that looked like Robin Thick. Yeah. Oh yeah. Exactly. I mean it's she the same. A white girl? Yeah, she got a white no girl. Shit. Look just like Robin Thick. I like her too. It's amazing. It's amazing what's going on in society. Now. Yeah. <laughs> My you could just go home and tell your mom 30 years ago that you were gay. No, but you know what? I think it's something in the water these days. <laughs> when your child is gay, they drink it, and you know, they just glow like, bing, I'm gay. Because I knew my daughter was gay a long fucking time. Did you? You knew it? Yeah, you can. You can tell when How your old? child is gay. How old? When she was gay. How old did you know? How old was she? Probably about 11, 10 mm-hmm. or 11. Because everybody else, you know, I raised my sister kids, so everybody else was trying to get fucked. She was trying to read a book. So I'm like, why aren't she trying to get fucked? At 11? Well, I was fucking at 11, but you know how girls oh, start to feel they selves and smell they selves. You know, liking boys. She never had that interest. So we kind of knew she was gay. Plus, my mother-in-law, who's really, really Christian, she said, she told me one day, she was like, we was over at our house for a cookout. She was like, this child got a gay spirit on. I was like, fuck you. What the fuck is a gay spirit? But she was right. <laughs> she was right. Yeah. But she's happy. So whatever make you happy, nah, you know. Nah, it's your kid. You know, if, if it, happy. Hey, if, hey, if eating clicks make you happy, eat the click. Fuck it. Let's lick that motherfucker. <laughs> mama, cool mama. Hey. Cool side. What's so fucked up is because we look just alike. And I'll be like, why do you be doing that to my face? <laughs> I bet you my 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 face have seen more pussy because I ain't seen my pussy in my fifteen years. Well, my my face on her body have seen more pussy than anything. But she like licking it. She she lost her teeth behind bad pussy and then she got them fixed. So now she got great teeth. She can take them out, do a thing, put them back. That is fucking craziness. I love it. I love it. It's a perfect Sunday night fucking show. Well, you sure don't want to bite this cookie of death tonight? No, God. You all right? Yes, I'm fine. You, you bought, what kind of cookies you got? No, I'm just tea. I got these medical marijuana cookies that Lee don't like. Well, it's because. They fuck him up. Everybody else has a little bit. He just, you don't you don't listen to, to doses. It'd be like if you took the entire bottle of Vicodin after a surgery and just and like took the entire bottle. I take care of your You can't give him that kind of stuff. That's messed up. I don't give him Viking. I give him medical marijuana cookie. He loves it. Who you kidding? He giggles and shit. Last week he was giggling at stupid fucking jokes or whatever. (laughs) So you have a child now that's 16 and one's 14. Yeah, they live. Yeah, two at home. And they know what you do. Yeah, they know what I do. They're digging every moment of it. Yeah, because I be out talking about their fat asses. You don't talk about your kids. I talk about my kids. She's fucking 17 months old today. What am I going to say about that? She fucking uh, is a savage. She is a fucking savage. Oh, well, I have, oh, you just had a baby? I'm 51, yeah. Why you wait so fucking long? You supposed I'm to do that in elementary know. school and get it out the way. I've been with her since, uh, you know, 2099. Nothing ever happened. Two years ago, boom, she got pregnant. Fuck. Nothing How old is she? She's 44 now. She was 42. Right that. before the thing about to close down, she yeah. get pregnant. She Holy fuck. Pregnant. I know she had to be pissed off. No, she's she's a different woman. Is man. this the first baby for her? Yeah. Oh, she's yeah. A, People are happy about their first she's child. She's in fucking heaven. She's a different woman. Than are I y'all going to do it again? I'm 51. I can't barely do it. I got I to gotta do other things right now. I got to take care of this shit. You can barely have sex or you can barely get somebody pregnant. I don't want to get nobody pregnant again. Oh, okay. That's it. This is a lot of work at 51, dog. Yeah, that's this why I had mine in elementary. Yeah, this is, yeah, no, no, no. Because you don't have the patience to hear that shit around your house. Like, shut the fuck up, but you can't say shut the fuck up. Because I just moved my niece in with her four kids. She was homeless, and she got babies. And I got a big-ass house where I'm used to peace, and these kids running around want to talk. Get the fuck out of my office. Who the fuck are you? And I forgot I let them move in. <laughs> I don't want to fucking talk to you fucking kids in the two-year-old. The, she got a two-year-old. She can't talk with shit. But for some reason, the two-year-old keep calling me Uncle Gary. I'm like, bitch, I am a girl. I'm not a fucking Uncle Gary. Fuck out of here if I stick you, baby. <laughs> and you know, her little two-year-old looking like a little stud muffin. 
Look like gonna be a stud when he grow up, <laughs> real muscular and look like a little boy. We had to get her ears pierced because everybody kept thinking she was a fucking boy with a pink shirt on. <laughs> so how many kids you at the house? Six right now. Yes, yeah, six. And Damn. four of them is hers, and two of them Peter bed. And you know, you were like, look here, these motherfuckers got to stop pit. But thank God, my daddy died a couple years ago. He left his hospital bed, and I was gonna throw it away, but in the back of my mind, it'll my, pop up. Some, no, some my mind was like, somebody's gonna come to piss on this bed. So. <laughs> <laughs> she brought some fissy ass kids and they be back there wearing that damn plastic mattress out. So I got six kids at the house and my kids hate them because they're used to having the whole house. My house is like 6,000 square feet and I got to share with these with these four kids. But they was homeless and I tell my kids, be grateful that, you know, we can help somebody. But ugh, it ain't easy because the baby be hollering and. My niece be having on, this bitch put on an earphone to get away from her own kids. She only 23 with four kids. Oh. Yeah, and then she was talking about nobody, somebody, nobody feels sorry for me. Well, nobody felt sorry for you when you That's hit your fucking to, legs yeah. in the air, bitch. Did you, after two, maybe you was thinking maybe I couldn't afford this shit. Maybe after one, but you had four, bitch. You had four fucking babies. Then what, somebody supposed to feel sorry for you? What, get a job. But she got a job at my house because I don't play that shit. Let me ask you something. How crazy, like years ago, I've heard women at comedy show go, they're either born again virgins or they're holding out to have sex or they're virgins. It's a big thing. When I was a kid, everybody fucked at 12. Everybody me was too. fucking. That neighborhood in Jersey, they were fucking. I was 12. He I was, was naive. I didn't believe he, you were 12 and he was 22. Yeah, I was. Now that was child molestation today. Right, Back then, it was somebody helping the mama out. <laughs> <laughs> It's, that shit just happened somewhere. Yeah. He bought her a computer for Christmas, the no, janitor. The this motherfucker janitor. was married. He was married. His wife was pregnant, and she gave she gave birth in August. And, I'm sorry, in November. January, and I gave birth in August. And nobody questioned this asshole about getting this girl pregnant. Nobody. Some good sex now. I hope this. I can say that because don't nobody listen to this podcast. Some good sex back in the day because, of course, you don't really know what good dick is when you only had one dick at a time. Then when you get multiple dick and you realize that first dick won all that, you know, it was just some, you Wank know. shit. No, nah, unemployed dick is delicious. Yeah. I say that all the time. <laughs> 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 it's like Obamacare. It don't work, but it's good. <laughs> <laughs> We're going in like fucking Marines, you understand me? Welcome to church, motherfucker.